Good afternoon. I'm Nina Marie Ida Summerlin, one of the three Asbury, As Springwood Avenue Rising Executive Committee members. Springwood Avenue Rising is pleased to be able to welcome everyone that was able to come out to be a part of this glorious event. We would like to thank each and every one of you for being here with us today and hope to see everyone at more of our future events coming next year, 2021. Also, everybody has received little tickets for Robin Beans. If anyone has not got received a ticket to receive anything, a hot drink, please see one of the interns that is walking around now with the tickets in his hand. Also, I would like to ask Pastor Jason Jennings from the Rebirth Church to lead us in a community prayer. All, all hearts and minds clear as we go to the throne of grace. Father God, we thank you first of all for who you are. We acknowledge you on this day and we give you all praises due, Lord, that you've allowed us to stand here today in this community as partakers in this community. Lord, you said that if we engage, you will engage. So God, we thank you for those that showed up tonight, this evening, today, this afternoon. Oh Lord, we thank you for the hands, the hearts, and the minds that came together the saw fit to pour value back into this community at this unveiling ceremony. So God, we ask that you touch the hearts and minds of those in this community as we continue to progress as a community. In your name we pray, amen. amen. Now we're gonna have a special selection from Alexandra Simon. Simone. Simone. Lift every voice and sing till earth and heaven rings. Ring with the harmony of liberty. Let our rejoicing rise high as the listening skies. Let it resound loud as the rolling sea. Sing a song full of the faith that the dark past has taught us. Sing a song full of the hope that the present has brought us. Facing the rising sun of our new day begun let us march on till victory is won now we have miss diane shelton come up Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Again, I am Diane Shelton, and I am a member of the Executive Committee, and I am pleased to be able to provide you with a backdrop of today's event. Before we were technically known as Springwood Avenue Executive Committee, the three of us, Pam Major, Nina Summerlin, and myself, began conversations back in February 2019 about the 50th anniversary that of the civil unrest which occurred from July 4th to July 10th of 1970, and which not only devastated the once vibrant West Side community, but specifically Springwood Avenue corridor, leaving it bleak and dismal, but also decreased the morality and engagement of its residents. In April 2019, we invited a group of community stakeholders, community partners, and community residents to hear our vision with the tagline, People, Pride, Progress, and Purpose. The Springwood Avenue Steering Committee was developed and over several months began planning events that would lead up to the 2020 anniversary. 
However, as we all know, the COVID-19 put a halt to the scheduled events. Yet, it is said where there is a will, there is a way. And in late July, the first project of the West Side Mural Campaign, funded by Interfaith Neighbors, was done here at, at this historic landmark, known in previous years as Leo's Turf Club and also the Turf Melody Lounge. This was done to preserve the intangible cultural and musical heritage of the west side of Asbury Park. Many thanks again to the commissioned artist Larry Walker, several residents and volunteers, including Teresa Jones and Audrey Richardson Walker. They made it a reality. So why are we here today? We are here to unveil the mural signage created by another community resident, Kyle Whedon. Come on over, Kyle. Also known as Coach Whedon or Coach Kyle. <laughs> this entire project was intended for three reasons. One, to pay homage to the once well-known Springwood Avenue entertainment spot. Two, to recognize the history of the once vibrant Springwood Avenue corridor. And la last but not least, three, to observe the sixth principle of Kwanzaa, Kuamba, celebrated on December 31st. The meaning of Kuamba, creativity to do always as much as we can in order to leave our community more beautiful and beneficial than we inherited it. It is our prayer that everyone under the sound of my voice is as optimistic as we three are of what the year 2021 will bring. Can I hear everybody say Kuwamba? Before the actual unveiling, I would like to introduce Wanda Smith, who will grace us with her creativity by rendering a by rendering a poem she has written for this occasion. Can I lift this up? Okay. Kuamba, a mural poem in Asbury Park. This is more than a West Side story. Captured are the hearts of glory. Are you a lifelong resident? These memories awakened are of times well spent. We stand here today at the heart of the community, experiencing love and musical genius in good old AP. From the turf to the orchid lounge, to the cosmic birth. Music brightened our world, enhanced our worth. Notice the unique power of brilliant artistry. It represents the passions, the soul, the gifts of musicality. Kuamba reimagined what was a blank wall. Now it is a history lesson to educate us all. Each artist rendered their own special touch, recognizing the sounds we loved so much. These depictions of and by artists are so great, reminiscent of times of neighborly love, never hate. Kuamba shines a light for all to see, illuminating stars we respect, even aspire to be. Thank you, Interfaith Neighbors, for funding this gift. This project was created with an essence to uplift. Thank you to all for this loving memory, a reminder of what you can do with Kuamba creativity. Thank you to the artists and the power 
of the arts to affect change. Remember, Kuamba, the sixth principle of Kwanzaa, tells you to leave your community better than when you found it. Thank you. Now, everybody, it is with honor and a privilege that I introduce Assemblyman Eric Holtling and our own city council woman, Yvonne Clayton, who will unveil the new marquee. What do you want us to do? Just pull this. Got it? <laughs> you gotta pull hard. <laughs> Yay, we did it! Thank <laughs> you. And we didn't pull the building. Yeah, I know, but Eric, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. You wanna hurt one of you? Um you can have the keyword. Yeah. I think you Well thank you and uh Diane, I just want to congratulate you and uh, Springwood Avenue Rising is something I went to an event. It seemed like an eternity ago, but it was only uh, a couple of months ago when we were discussing plans for having a wonderful parade down Springwood Avenue. And I was all on the board with that and looking forward to all that happening. But, you know, some th things have happened uh, that didn't happen. But, you know, the progress here hasn't stopped. And I want to congratulate you on that organization. And I have been by here many times to watch the progress of what you have done here how you have brought the community together, so many different community organizations together, and uh, we are gonna make that happen, and we are going to revive this building to what it once was, and let people know the great history we had here on Springwood Avenue. And I wanna congratulate you, and wish everybody a very merry, ho happy holiday, happy Kwanzaa, and a better 2021, that's for sure. Thank you everyone for coming out and this is truly Springwood Avenue Rising. We are here celebrating our history, celebrating the music that was here. And it is so important that people have come out to support it. And I just want to thank the Springwood Avenue Rising group, the organizing group and say thank you. Thank you for your vision. Thank you for your support. And together we are going to make this entire corridor something to really be proud of. It's going to be vibrant. It's going to be exciting. And Merry Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa, and a happier New Year. As we conclude uh, the celebratory event, I'm going to ask Trudy um, Lockamy and Alexander, if both of y'all come up. The first stanza of uh, Lift Every Voice is in your program, and y'all can sing. A duet. Go ahead. Never mind. <laughs> Trudy's going to lead us out with a song. Thank you, Trudy. <laughs> We just gonna sing this a community since it's um, celebrating our community. He's got the whole world in his hand. 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 He's got you and me in his hand. He's got you and me. In his hand, he's got you and me. In his hand, he's got the whole world in his hand. One more time, he's got the whole world. In his hand, he's got the whole world. In his hand, he's got the whole world. In his hand, he's got the whole world in his hand. Thank you so much. And we can't conclude it without a few words from Tom Haynes from the New Jersey Natural Gas. Come on, Tom, because we appreciate you. Yeah. I didn't see you. 
<laughs> now, I, I'm sorry, I, I got stuck somewhere and I got here a little bit late, but Michelle saw me and you snitched on me. Oh, I just want to say congratulations to everybody. You're all so wonderful. You're doing such great work. This is a very important project, we all know. This building, this structure, everything about this is such a good symbol for the future of this area. We're happy to be a part of it, working with many of you and in Interfaith neighbors and the town on a regular basis. And again, New Jersey Natural Gas, this is our season. We're here to keep you warm. So thank you, everybody. Appreciate it. <laughs>